Okay, so I have something that I want to show here in my favorites video. I got two items I want to show you. And I already know it's a favorite item because I got two of these and I already unboxed one. So it is a butterfly garland. I have two of these garlands. It's a truly fairy butterfly bunting. It's from Talking Tables, and I'm gonna put the link where I got it in the description. It's a product from uh, London, UK, but I ordered it here in a Dutch web shop. And then I have a party backdrop, a gold party backdrop to hang up, and it has like these golden flowers, butterflies just hanging. So it looks like from the bottom, it's for ginger ray. I'm gonna test it and if it is cool enough, it'll end up in this video. Okay, so tomorrow is a very special day because tomorrow is the seventh birthday of my daughter. Every year I do a cake smash or donut smash with my kids on their birthday or like a week or two before. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do it on her actual birthday. I bought donuts. Uh, so she's gonna do like a donut smash with seven donuts. I think it will be really cool to photograph with a large aperture and then create like the beautiful blurry flowers, golden flowers, butterflies in the back. Okay, let's see what it looks like. It smells a little bit strange. super cute for her donut smash decor. I'm gonna give you a close-up. So yeah, there was like a little white uh, string that was keeping them together because I thought they were really like stuck and it would take me hours to untangle them. Uh, but that was okay. I could remove the rope and a few were like twisted. But be patient, don't do this like five minutes before your session because then if they're stuck, it's gonna be very frustrating. But take your time to untangle, detangle uh, the strings, uh, but they, they're pretty much good straight out of the package. They look amazing and I think they're gonna be so cool in her photo session. So yeah, I might use them for more photo sessions. So this is what it looks like. I think it's so cute. It's very pretty, like it catches the light really nice. I'm really curious to see what it looks like when I use some flash in the photo. I'm gonna try and photograph with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens because that's what I usually use in the studio. And then with an aperture of 2.8 or 3.2, see what it looks like. If that doesn't give me enough blurriness, I might grab my 50 millimeter lens. So yeah, in the top you see that there is a ribbon, so it makes it really clear what is the top. And then the strings are almost like a straw, like a plastic straw. And um, with a little rope inside, so like a straw and a rope. I think that helps it from getting really tangled. I think it looks super cute. And yeah, I'm gonna give you the dimensions in a second because I'm gonna look them up on the package. And the dimensions are two meters uh, length and 1.7 meters wide. And there you see the product code as well. Good. So these ones, most ones were from the Aldi and then two more from the Lidl. Um, seven ones in total because she's turning seven. Now seeing this, I think I want to add some golden balloons as well. And then that's enough. Something I ordered just came in and I think it should be included, included in this favorites video. I just opened the package and I ordered three new uh, SD cards. And I really like these ones. They're the Sun SunDisk Extreme SDHC UHS I card. Let's just say it's a 32 gigabyte um, SD card, and the quality number is like a 10, I think. So it can transfer like 90 MB per second, which is fine for taking photos maybe for video you want to try the 
black one which is better i think but for taking photos i love these ones they're really cheap they used to be like super expensive like i don't know a few years ago but now they are only 13 euros and 50 cents each i ordered them from this company data i o i guess and i purposely get the 32 gigabyte instead of like the 64 or the 128 because um it's kind of like the more you can put on one sd card maybe the less likely you are to um backup i don't know and then like if an, an sd card crashes you will lose a lot more if you keep on photographing on a very large sd card without backing up and that's what i tend to do when i have an sd card in my vlog camera like the camera i'm filming with right now if i put a 64 s 64 gigabyte sd card in it i will just film and film and film until it is full and then i'll transfer the files to my ssd uh, card or uh, another hard disk um if I have a 32 gigabyte SD card, of course it's full faster and I will back up faster as well. So then if my card crashes, which pretty much never happens with these, at least I am not losing that much data. I don't know, it's like a psychological thing. If you want the 64 or the 128 gigabyte, fine. With sessions, I after every session, I put them on my SSD drive, but I still leave them on the SD card as well. So I have them on two locations and then I have another hard disk so I can always back it up like the edited files there. So I have them on two locations as well. And then if they're still on this one, like the unedited ones, I have them on three, lo three locations, which is great. Uh, SSD card hasn't filled me yet. Um, so that's great. But yeah, I purposely get the 32 gigabyte ones just so that there is not that much data on my SD card and it forces me to back up to transfer the files to my other hard disks uh, earlier on. So yeah, great. So yeah, if I forget my camera somewhere, there are less files as well on my SD card. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, I really like these ones. So I thought I'd just share another favorite this pizza i don't know if you're like not into cheese lactose intolerant vegan i really don't like cheese uh this pizza doesn't have any cheese which is awesome uh yeah so i'm just gonna have pizza tonight so let me show you another favorite look at this wooden bench i think it's so cool i got it second hand so I got it second hand from someone and I think it's so cool. I don't know where it's from. I don't know the history. But I think it's super cool. Like a little pillow on it. I have like a little blanket on top of it. It looks super nice. These chairs actually were from my grandmother's. Um, so I'm recycling those. And another favorite of mine is this chair. I got it new and I think it's super cute. And another favorite is this wooden box. And I got it in like a thrift store, like a secondhand store. And I sanded off some of the um, varnish that was on there. And I bought a few of the buttons. Uh, and I put this one on there instead of the wooden one that was on there. Ooh, and another favorite, dried flowers. I so love these dried flowers. They're so super cute. And I mean, they last super long, so that's really cool. Another favorite is the pancake plant. I got it new and I think it's super, super cute. And another favorite, which can be used in a photo studio as well, is this like Rachel's uh, home perfume. I mean, you need to have kind of like a bigger studio because it can be a little bit on the strong side. I had it in my bedroom first, but it kind of gave me a headache in the morning. Um, but for in the living room or maybe your studio, it's great. Another favorite is this beautiful pure wool yarn. It's from Allison and May and I bought it at The Action, which is like our local Hobby Lobby store. And I wanna use it to knit like a wrap, like a newborn wrap. Um, I know it's gonna take me forever and they have knitting machines to do this. I think, you know, when your kids are playing outside on the playground and you're sitting there on a bench, just 
keeping an eye out on what's going on and you don't have anything to do. I mean, you can scroll on your phone, uh, but then you don't really see what the kids are doing anyway. Or you can have your little wrap that you are knitting in your purse and just knit a little bit. Um, so yeah, I, it, I think it's beautiful wool yarn. And guess what? I got myself a new sewing machine. So here we go, still in the plastic. Okay, so with this sewing machine, I wanna start creating some newborn outfits, like maybe for sitter sessions, some outfits. Um, opportunities are endless. You know, those little pillows that the babies lie on, pretty easy to make. So I wanna do some like tutorials, maybe later some videos, some DIY videos on how to make beautiful newborn outfits using the sewing machine or like sleepy heads. So I ordered some fabrics as well. Uh, but yeah, this will all be in a separate video. Another one of my favorites, which should be in this video, but will get its own video as well. So this is just a short introduction, is my macrame wall art piece that I created for the living room. It's not finished yet, uh, but I taught myself a few knots, uh, looking at tutorials, looking at, you know, videos and um so yeah i created something then i pulled it apart then i did it started all over again and then i pulled it apart again until i kind of like knew which knots i liked and then i created my own design so i have it hanging on the wall in the living room and i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i think it would be super cool as like a photo shoot backdrop as well like a cake's nest session with like a boho theme so i collected some branches in the forest and i ordered some more strings and i want to create like a diy tutorial video on how to create a beautiful macrame wool piece or at least how i would do it for a photo session uh, so that's to come but this is just a teaser so yeah i got this one at, at a garden shop like the wooden um i don't know what it is like flower holder <laughs> which included the glass bottles and then the dried flowers are just great to add in there i mean you can add like fresh flowers but then of course you have to change the water the whole time and the flowers will die and this one will last a long time so yeah and then of course i have a, a video featuring these ones so if you have any questions on where I got them, I'll link the video in the description. Okay, my kids are fighting over the uh, iPad. And then another favorite of mine, you know, we're talking about summer 2020, or at least the first half of 2020. Something I really liked doing was painting the wall in my living room. So when I first moved in here with the kids, the wall was green and I thought it was quite a nice color to have in the living room. So I just left it that way. Um, and I decorated it uh, with my own furniture, but the mood board I had in mind for my new home was more like a toned down as far as colors, more like scent colors and uh, natural um, materials. So like wood and bamboo and reed and just like burlap and stuff like and then like linen or like something like that some more like natural colors natural materials so it's very calming very peaceful and that green is it's a fashionable color right now and it was like standing out a lot but i thought like a sand color would look better on the wall so i bought some paint and i started painting and i really like it so i think this should be in my favorites video so yeah, I really, I'm really happy with the result. Another favorite, which sounds silly, but I mean the lunch boxes I use for my kids, uh, I really like them and I got them at the little and they're just amazing because they have these little compartments and you can bring like, I mean the kids can bring like tons of different things to school, like some fruits, maybe some eggs, some bread, some um, just vegetables as well. Like I use bell peppers or carrots or cucumber, or, uh, whether they're fruit or vegetables, let's leave that in the middle, but Great lunch boxes. I'm really happy with them. And I'm also a big fan of the Camelback bottles. Like Non-leaking, great. And they last and they have like lifelong guarantee. So another favorite, just a random favorite. And of course, another favorite of mine are my Dr. Martens black boots. Uh, great to match with dresses and skirts and jeans, just with 
everything. I saved up for them. I wanted to buy those when I was a teenager. I went to like a flea market with my mom. They only had yellow ones that were like the cheapest ones and they were like two sizes too big. So I walked around for years, I think, in Dr. M yellow Dr. Martens, like two sizes too big, so happy. And now I got the black ones I wanted. They're like matte and they're actually my size. So I'll hopefully use them for many, many more years. And I just think they're awesome. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this random collection of favorite items, just first half 2020, summer 2020. Uh, some photography related, some home decor, some just random things. Uh, but I thought I would share them. And yeah, more videos are coming up. So more about the sewing machine and the fabrics and everything that I got. More about the macrame. Um, I can even do like a knitting tutorial with the wrap, but that's just basic knitting. So I guess, I guess not. But um, yeah. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love reading your comments. And then hopefully I'll see you in the comments. You'll see me in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.